Uh, hello viewers, uh, today's topic is hemorrhoids. So the hemorrhoids are uh, the swollen veins in the anus, uh, the lower part of the rectum. Uh, hemorrhoids are very common and uh, they result uh, from increased pressure on the anus and this can occur during pregnancy, childbirth or due to constipation. And uh, the pressure causes uh, the normal anal veins and the tissue to swell. And uh, this tissue can uh, bleed uh, often during the bowel movements. And, uh, these may be caused by the straining during the bowel movements, uh, constipation, or uh, sitting for long periods of time, uh, especially uh, on the toilet, you know. And uh, certain diseases like uh, uh, like cirrhosis uh, 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 of liver, you know. Well, there are two types. Um, uh, the hemorrhoids may be inside or outside of the body. And the internal hemorrhoids occur just inside the anus uh, at the beginning of the rectum. Uh, when they are large, they become, they may fall outside, you know, which means they prolapse, you know. And uh, the most common problem with the internal hemorrhoid is uh, bleeding uh, during bowel movements. And the external hemorrhoids may um, uh, occur uh, outside of the anus and uh, they can uh, result in difficulty cleaning the area uh, after a bowel movement you know and uh, if a blood clot uh, forms in an external hemorrhoid it can be very painful and uh, it's known as uh, thrombosed uh, external hemorrhoid and the next thing is what are the symptoms of hemorrhoids well the hemorrhoids are most often uh, uh, not painful uh, but if the blood clot forms uh, they can be very painful and the common symptoms include like painless bright red uh, uh, blood from the rectum you know uh, and leaching and uh, anal lack uh, or pain especially while sitting you know and uh, the pain during the uh, bowel movements or uh, one or more hard tender lumps uh, near the anus you know so these are the common symptoms of uh, hemorrhoids and the next thing is uh, how to diagnose uh, that someone has the hemorrhoids, you know. Uh, well, uh, most of the time, uh, your doctor can often diagnose hemorrhoids uh, simply by looking into the rectal area, you know. And the external hemorrhoids uh, often uh, uh, be detected uh, uh, this way, you know. Uh, but test may be uh, helpful just to diagnose uh, the hemorrhoids and these tests include like uh, number one will the rectal examination you know so your doctor will uh, uh, perform the rectal examination and he might insert the finger inside the anus I mean after wearing the gloves you know and uh, the same next thing is the uh, sigmoidoscopy and the anoscopy. So these are the two tests. They are uh, done with the scope, uh, which have a camera at the end of the, the tube, you know, so which will be inserted through the anus to the rectum just to see inside uh, if there are any kind of hemorrhoids present there and what's their location and how big they are, you know, and uh, um, how they look like or sometimes uh, the biopsy may be taken you know from that uh, piece from that part you know just to see under the microscope is there any chance of malignancy there and uh, no, what's diagnosed what are the treatment options uh, the first thing is over the counter corticosteroid uh, creams you know and uh, they help to reduce itching and pain and uh, the hemorrhoid creams uh, with um, lidocaine uh, to help reduce the pain, you know. Uh, in fact, these creams uh, numb that area, you know. And the stool softeners to reduce the constipation. So these are the treatment options uh, initially yeah, at the early stage, you know. Well, the things... Uh, there are certain lifestyle changes as well that uh, you can mm, do to change to uh, make the symptoms better you know like uh, apply uh, hazel uh, uh, witch hazel you know to the area with the cotton swab you know or uh, uh, wear the cotton underwear you know uh, avoid toilet tissues uh, with perfumes or the colors you know and uh, use the baby wipes instead and uh, try not to uh, scratch the area 
uh, you know, sitz bath can help uh, to feel better and uh, sit in warm water for up to 10 to 15 minutes, you know. And if your hemorrhoids do not get better with the home treatments, uh, you need to um, some type of other treatments, you know, uh, to shrink the hemorrhoids. And uh, if uh, the office treatment is not enough, uh, some type of surgery may be necessary, uh, such as removal of the hemorrhoids. Uh, known as hemorrhoidectomy, you know, and these procedures are generally used for the people with the severe bleeding uh, or the prolapse uh, who cannot respond to the therapies, you know. When uh, the blood in the hemorrhoid uh, may form clots, you know, and uh, they can cause tissue around it to die, and the surgery is sometimes needed to remove the hemorrhoids uh, with the clots, you know, and uh, rarely severe bleeding can occur and iron deficiency anemia can result for a long term hemorrhoid you know which can uh, so if you are losing too much blood you know well constipation that is how to uh, prevent you know the hemorrhoids well constipation uh, straining during the bowel movements <coughs> and sitting on the toilet for too long increases the risk of hemorrhoids uh, to prevent the constipation and hemorrhoids, uh, you should uh, drink plenty of water, eat fibrous diet, you know, and uh, uh, consider using the fiber supplements and the stool soft ones as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, you can visit our website www.diseasesintreatment.com. Thank you and goodbye.